Alrighty then. Last week before my Slipknot concert, and I still gotta call and make sure about parking and stuff, but um, <clears throat> so this is the uh, last song that I think might be played there. Um, I still want to do more Slipknot after this though, because I just, I'm like, I gotta get to know the whole thing, right? Um, uh, so this week we have Custer. I've heard, um, I chose the live one, but so I heard <laughs> about the lyrics and I read the lyrics and I was like, Yee! we'll see. But um, <clears throat> uh, it was about, this is a quote from songpacks.com. He told Kring, I guess that's how you say it, magazine, about this song, um, this is focusing anger towards the outside world, 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 the people who on one hand want to make us martyrs, but at the same time want to make us, yeah, that. And metaphorically, he added, it's about charging into our last stand. It's basically saying, you know what, just when you think You've written our history, we're going to rewrite it again and basically show you that we can take all the abuse that you put out there and we're not going to lose a step, we're not going to lose an inch, we're not going to lose any ground, we're going to keep coming. <coughs> um, and because it was saying that after the their bassist died and then Joey Jordison um, left the band, um, people were doubting them about whether they could be as good, and that was kind of like his response. Although I'm wondering, because Custer's last stand, so maybe, <clears throat> I'm like, they got totally beat, but they stood their ground. They kept, they took everything that was coming, they stood their ground until um, everybody, wasn't, wasn't everybody died? I think it was everybody died. Ugh, it's been so long since I've read about that. Um, so I guess he could just be, is he saying like, you know, bring it on? <clears throat> this is like, it'll, we'll, it kind of like Custer's last stand. We're going to like, we're, we're not going to give up. Um, unlike Custer's last stand, though, I think Slipknot is um, going to make it. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Um, but yeah. I totally forgot to do the lyric thing again. Don't worry, it'll it'll pop up at the beginning. I usually remember later. <clears throat> Listener aggression is advised. It's so talking about how petty people are. Mm, never seem to get enough. Don't waste my time. Cut me up. Yeah, and just, I can see it uh, being that. All right. Looks interesting. Getting me excited. Okay. Do this thing. <laughs>
It looks fun. It does look fun. I'll probably no. I'll, I'll sing half the half of that chorus. Um, <coughs> unless I can think of another word. Um, okay, so the the lyric review thingy he was talking about how Paul had died. So I I, I assume because the gray chapter that has um devil and I in it too, and that's when they got the two new. They got the new, is it a new bassist? Um, is that who, uh, well, him actually, um, Jim, Root, right? He replaced Paul, and then I'm assuming the drummer back there is Jay Weinberg. So this is kind of like all new. But I mean, for me, I started late, so I'm like, the, the people that are there now are like, who I see as the band, and and Joey and Paul are kind of like the... <clears throat> I don't know how to... Eh, am I explaining that right? Like, I'm just so used to who there is right now that it's almost like the other two are new to me. Um, but anyway, okay, this is pretty fun. This is gonna be so, if they do this too, it's gonna be so crazy. to go through all the names as they were showing everybody that I, I got everybody except for the one with the long nose I'm forgetting you know this zipper mouth thing um I think I, I think I have everybody down except for I, that one was kind of eluding me um it's gonna be so crazy I'm getting so I'm like I'm nervous but I'm excited okay <laughs> And, um, okay, so that was Slipknot Custer. I can see what some people are saying about, I mean, I might not like the lyrics as much, which I'm like, um, like it's not something I would download on my iPod unless I could like, um, edit it, but I will definitely listen to it on, um, YouTube, like with this music video and stuff, just, um, especially like reactions, other people's reactions. It's just really fun. I actually do like that song. That was, that was super fun. Yay. Okay. So that's all for this song. 
You can comment and like and subscribe. Um, you can come and say hello on my social media. I am. Um, I keep thinking. I'm trying to figure out what to do with uh, Patreon still. I know I say this every single time. Um, I'm thinking once I get everything figured out, um, like at home, then I'll I'll figure something out for that. But in the meantime, um, that's about all I got for now. So I'll see everybody next time.